Welcome to this New Year's Eve program where I'm going to talk about the past year and celebrate the new year with a yearly toast. More after this intro. Twenty twenty three has been a hectic year for me. I was planning to have about 200 videos uploaded to YouTube by this time, but all that changed this summer when I got a new job, and I have been quite busy ever since. Before this happened, in February, I started my own hobby business by launching a website and a web shop where I'm selling self produced items and different services mostly genealogy services. Now, selling things on the internet is hard and I am still waiting for my very first customer. Like last year, I have been working a lot in the garden during the summer and growing different plants. This is the very same apricot tree I showed last year. I've also been doing some woodworking, constructing a wooden bridge. I have been doing this as a test and are eventually planning to sell the very same bridge online through my website for those of you who are interested. Now when I have a job, I don't have much time over to work on any of my projects. I still haven't been able to complete the book about the village of Valsta, but I've just recently resumed work on that one. And I hope it will be released in time for the summer of 2024. On May 10th, my friend Beyoncé kicked off her latest world tour with two sold-out shows at the Friends Arena in Stockholm, Sweden. It was after watching my documentary series about the Serpent of Valsta on YouTube, Beyoncé got the inspiration to add bits of it into her show. I've been in direct contact with her during the world tour from the early rehearsals in Stockholm a week prior to the first show. Here's a pic from February from her comeback concert in Dubai, which I did a video about earlier this year. Here's another pic of her second concert stage. What you're watching in this pic looks just like an ordinary stage, but the half circle in the background actually symbolizes a descended or descending sun and an event which takes place during midsummer and in ancient times called nadir a word from our norse language which is related to another word midgard serpent in the middle there's a maypole that lifts beyonce up towards the end of the show and our ancestors probably danced around this maypole like Beyoncé does. If you haven't watched the documentary, I recommend you doing so right now. Hopefully you will see a lot more of my discovery in the media in the near future, as I'm working on a few projects at the moment and have tried to involve Beyoncé as well. It's almost time. In about a minute, the new year will arrive. Let's prepare some soda. I have some soda over here. Classic Julmust. If you come to Sweden, you should try Julmust. I think you can buy this at IKEA too during the holidays. Mm. About a minute. Okay. Mm. Well, I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you, all of my viewers, and wish you 
a happy new year. Cheers. The new year is here. Happy new year. Well, I guess that's all I had to say. Good night. See you in 2024. It's already 2024. Yeah, bye.